in the world of candles, every color meant something. Pink was more or less for self-love. Yellow would be happiness. Then you would carve a symbol on the candle itself. You would put their name to personalize it. You would put their birthday, their astrological sign. They walked out different than they walked in. Hopefully happy. So there was this woman that used to always come in. She was kind of a pretty blonde. She'd come in at least once a week, every two weeks. I called her the crier because every time you made a candle for this woman, she would cry. Like no matter what it was, a candle for happiness, candle for confidence, candle for money, candle for, you know, cry, cry, cry. For some reason, she comes in, she wants a protection candle, which was really, really odd because not too many people come in and ask for protection candles. I got her a white candle and I put her name, I put the astrological sign and the appropriate carving. And of course she starts crying. And the carving and the candle itself is done. Then I go to do the incense and I put the incense in and covered it. And as I was putting the candle in to, to you know, finish, the smoke comes up and like the crier turns into this like, like, like this old woman, very old. She had like a, a robe on. Uh, the robe was gray with like little, uh, like look like sparkly blue eyes, very blue eyes. I didn't believe what I saw. It was so, you know, quick. I didn't want to freak the, the, the chick out. I said, nothing, nothing. I just thought I saw something or no, 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 it's cool, you know. And, and she went on her way. You know, I was a little flip, like thinking like, oh, oh, it is something here. What is this? Down in Alterations, another bride hopes her dress will be a perfect fit. My name is Ashley Bocknight. I'm 23 years old. I'm from Atlanta and I'm here for my alterations. Lori lived in the same neighborhood that my parents did. And when I talked to my mom, I said, Mom, I'm engaged. She said, oh, we got to go to Bridal's by Lori. You have to start picking out your dress. I purchased this really amazing gown. It was by Kenneth Poole. It was beautiful. It was almost like Kenneth Poole made it for my body, and that's the reason why we ended up getting it. I haven't seen my dress in about six or seven months. I'm really nervous about trying it on. Um, I hope it fits. We'll see. My fiance's name is Gene Siller. He's a golf pro over at a country club. We actually met at a coaches conference. We just started talking, and um, here we are now, two years later. I'm really going for the old school, classic, um, elegant, glamorous wedding. Oh my gosh. I just tried on my dress. It fit almost perfect. Um, we're not going to need too many alterations, but it's so heavy we had to really make it tight up here so that it really carried the weight a little bit better. It's very rare to fit exactly into a bridal gown, and she fit into that sample beautifully. She really needs very little alterations. She needs a little tweaking in at the waist and the bust, but yeah, she fit into that dress great. Well, oh, I love this bag. You look great. Ashley is. Yeah, the doors are gonna open. And he's just gonna like. Um, yeah, he's gonna lose it. Is he's he? gonna. Yeah, yeah he is. Yeah. beautiful than I even remember it being. When they opened the doors up and the music started and I saw her, I almost lost it. I, Jean, take your Ashley to be my wedded wife. I thought Ashley was one of the prettiest brides I have ever seen. She looks southern and elegant and like a princess and she's spectacular. Ever, so ever. happy. Ever, ever. We got a caller that, that initially called and said that there was a abandoned car uh, near his mother's home. He thinks somebody's in it. He went down and actually found a body uh, in the car. Detective Eric Torrance 
is a 12-year veteran of the force with four years in homicide. We just don't know how long he's been out there or uh, what's the nature of, of his death right now, but that's where we hit. Detective Henry Lucas will assist Torrance in the investigation. It may be a gunshot wound to the rear of the head. Ain't no blowback, nothing. Spatter. But I think once they shot him, wherever they shot him at, they put him back in the car and brought him over here. Detectives take down the vehicle's tag number and call it in to track down the owner. Yes, yes, ma'am. Can you hear me? All right, all right, all right, fine. We call the tag number in. Um, the tag number comes back on a missing person of a neighboring city. The owner of the car was reported missing two days before by his mother. The clothes that she described are pretty consistent with what this um, unknown subject have inside of the car. 